So Procreate 5 is coming up packed with amazing features. And in one of the new features, there's the clone tool. In today's video, that's exactly what we're going to cover. We're going to take a look at the clone tool and how well does it work for photographs as well as for illustrations. My name is Leo and you're watching Ghost Paper. So now let's get to it. All right, now that we're here on Procreate 5 Beta, I wanna show you where the clone tool is located, but I also wanna show you how to properly use the clone tool in the case that you have actually never used the clone tool or stem tool in some other software, such as Photoshop, for example. So for that here, for this first example, I'm gonna show you with a photo. And let's just say that in this photo here, we want to be able to remove a couple of these freckles. Uh, so where is the clone tool actually located? So the clone tool is located under adjustments and it's at the bottom here. So where liquify used to be the last option, now we have the clone. So how's the, how does the clone tool actually works? Well, we have this dial right here, this little circle, and that is actually where we're sourcing the pixels. So let's just say we're going to the right side first. Uh, say we want to remove this little dot right here. Uh, we're going to be sourcing pixels from a certain area in order to be able to paint. And in terms of brushes, how to properly use the clone tool? Well, I wouldn't, for example, start with a very harsh uh, brush for that kind of work. I would actually head into the airbrushing uh, set and probably use the soft brush. Next, uh, you do have to care, uh, be careful about brush size because sometimes you actually do want to use um, a larger brush for a larger area. But for these kind of things, uh, it's actually good to have a smaller brush. And lastly, um, you can always dial with the strength. You can always play with that. So you don't have to always start with 100%. I guess what I'm trying to say is that right out of the box that you would think that 100% will do the best job because you only have to paint it once. But in fact, many times I actually like to work, let's just say from 75 to 80% on the brush opacity. And I, I like to go like a couple of times in, on that area to make sure that it's all uh, good and that it, it looks natural. So whenever we're painting areas that we want to mask, make sure that um, we're going to source from this area, but we're also going to start painting right here. So we want to follow the pixels. That's basically the tip. So we don't want to source, for example, over here and start painting right here. We actually want to have our source of pixels in the same direction where we're actually going to paint. And this tip here, that's the same tip that I use, for example, for Photoshop. So now I'm going to source from the bottom here and try the same thing. And I think this was the best method. All right, so let's zoom out. And of course, we were like really, really close to that picture. So as you can see here, that little freckle is gone. And uh, that's how the clone tool actually works in Procreate. It's a really nice and it's a really quick tool now to make small adjustments to our images in the case that they are all merged into one layer. And the second thing that is actually really, really nice is that before we would actually have to use the eyedropper and brushes and really try to fake what a clone tool will do or even like selection, copy pixels into new layers and actually erase the borders. Uh, in a nutshell, kind of fake what the clone tool already does for us from the get-go. And now as for the illustration example right here, I'm going to use one of the illustrations that comes with Procreate 5 Beta. And it's this illustration right here. And let's just say we want to tone down or even remove this yellow paint that actually comes down to the face right here. So I'm gonna head back into the adjustments menu, clone. But in this case here, I'm actually gonna use the medium brush. And the reason for that is that I do believe this is as an illustration, it doesn't have the same amount of grain and some of the qualities that photographs ha have. So I can go with a brush that is more on the medium side with the uh, feathering. Uh, once again, I might just leave this about max for now because I just want to show you the uh, trick again of just using pixels from the same direction where you're painting. Um, because again, as, as an example, this area here is quite bright, but as we move to the right side of the painting here, we see that the face actually goes more into shadows. So when we actually want to cover an area with a brush using the clone tool, we want to source the right, uh, the right place for where the pixels do live. So if that makes sense. So again, we're going to place the, uh, the little sample here from this same direction, and we're going to paint upwards. 
and it's actually doing quite uh, a nice job, but I, I am going to increase the brush quite a bit here so that we don't have to um, go around as much. And we can even cover this area right here and go back into this place. And maybe we want to also cover this a bit and over here. And I believe that's pretty much it. So once again, the clone tool is actually really efficient to do, to actually make these tweaks to the image, such as uh, erasing pixels, replacing pixels by sourcing from the right uh, place without you having to duplicate layers and make selections and feather selections and do all sorts of tricks and many, many steps to actually get to the same place. So I do find that the clone tool is a really good addition to the set of tools in the adjustments menu for Procreate 5. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Now, my question for the comment section down below is, would you actually use this tool, this new clone tool that's coming up with the update of Procreate 5? Or would you rather just take your illustrations or photos into Photoshop, for example, and use the stamp tool? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And leave a like to this video if you did find it helpful. Also, a comment will be hugely appreciated. As well as subscribe to the channel for more speed paint videos, tutorials, and tips and tricks on Procreate. And that is all to make you a better digital illustrator. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.